welcome you all in this video we will see the scrambling and unscrambling used in a data transmission system we know that in a data transmission system the performance must be independent of the specific bit sequence being transmitted if we allow to occur this a repeated bit sequence can cause a wide variation in a received power level as well as a difficulty for adaptive collision and clock recovery since all these problem are eliminated if the bit sequence is random the scrambler usually takes the forms of chip transistor with a feedback network connection while unscrambler is a feed forward connected chip transistor the initial content of chip transistor are arbitrary but prescribed and fixed to be the same in a both scrambler and unscrambler now this is an example a typical example of scramble and unscramble where this s1 is input bit sequence s2 is scrambled bit sequence s2 dash is received bit sequence and s3 dash s3 is unscrambled bit sequence so in this particular example we are having a 5 bit chip transistor and to do a scrambling we are adding means modulo to adding addition of content of chip transistor 2 and chip transistor 5 and this output is modulo 2 with input bit and this will gives you unscrambled bit now this output s2 will be shifted to s1 means content chip transistor 1 One to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, and same process is repeated for all incoming input bits. Likewise, for unscrambling, we are having the received bit sequence, and in this, this unscrambling is nothing but the reverse process of scrambling. So in this, we are. doing the modulo to addition of shift register 2 and shift register 5 and this output is modulo to with input bit sequence and this will give us unscrambled bit sequence now in the next time the input bit sequence will be shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 and same process is repeated for the next incoming received bits <coughs> now see the example so we are having a s1 as an input bit that is 12 bits that is 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 now we know that s1 is input bit s2 is scrambled bit these are the five bit shift register we have to perform the addition or that is modulo to addition of shift register 2 and 5 and this output is modulo to with s1 now initially we are having the content of chip register as 0 now perform the scrambling process now chip register 2 content is 0 5 is 0 0 modulo to 0 is 0 and 0 plus s1 that is 1 is 1 so we are getting the first scramble bit that is 1 now this bit will be shifted to chip register content chip register 1 now 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 now again perform the modulo to addition 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 is zero this bit is shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 again perform same process 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 0 that is 1 this one is shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 
now again perform same addition 2 is 0 and 5 is 0 so 0 plus 0 is 0 and this 0 is again 0 so this 0 is shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 now 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 0 that is 1 this one is shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 this one is shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 this one is shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 now 1 plus 1 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 this 0 is shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 now 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 0 is 1 this one is shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 now 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 so this one is shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 now 2 content of shift resistor is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 so next scramble bit is 0 and this will be shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 so likewise this process will continue for the next incoming input bits now next C a scrambling now we are received these bits now we are assume the initial content of shift registers are 0 now see the difference here we are here the S2 dash will be shifted to the shift register content 1 after the first time period now we have to perform modulo 2 addition of 2 and 5 so 2 is 0 5 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 and next input bit is 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 so that's why unscrambled bit is 1 now here s2 will be shifted s2 dash will be shifted to 1 okay so 1 will be shifted to 1 this 1 will be shifted to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 now 0 plus 5 sorry 0 plus 0 is 0 with 0 is 0 now this 0 is shifted to this 1 1 will be shifted to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 now 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 0 now s2 dash will be shifted to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 now 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 now this s2 dash will be shifted to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 0 so this s2 dash is shifted to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 now this s2 dash is shifted to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 now this one is shifted to here 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 now 1 plus 1 is 0 and 0 plus 0 is 0 this 0 is shifted to here 1 here 1 here 1 here and 0 is here now 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 0 so this s2 dash is shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 now 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 0 this s2 dash is shifted to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 
1 plus 1 is 0 and 0 plus 0 is 0. Now this H2 dash is shifted to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. Then 1 plus 1 is 0 and 0 plus 0 is 0. So likewise we are we can calculate the next unscrambled bit for the received bit sequence as to dash.